How does the image on television reach us? What is the logic behind this, I wonder? Here you go. A television works like magic. Firstly, someone who wants to observe an event in the world records real-life scenes using a camera. This camera, a kind of magical device, converts the real images into fascinating digital signals. Then, these digital signals reach a communication tower or satellite through a magical path. This tower or satellite, just like a fairy tale tower, is used to broadcast signals to the whole world. Next, a device like an antenna or cable on our house's roof receives these signals and brings them indoors. Doesn't it truly feel like a magical world? I wonder how it continues after this. Then comes the most intriguing part. Inside the television, like a magical workshop, there is a system that receives these signals and transforms them into enchanting images. The television, as if it were a magical window, displays these images on the screen. Thu's people at home can watch events from all around the world. And if we were to explain the logic behind these signals and how the images are formed... The creation of images typically occurs through the assembly of pixels. Pixels are the smallest components of an image, each carrying a color and intensity value. A television screen consists of thousands or even millions of pixels placed very close together. LCD televisions utilize liquid crystal cells that control polarized light, passing through a backlight source. These cells allow varying amounts of light to pass through, or block it, when an electric current is applied. This way, the color and brightness of each pixel are controlled. As a result, television signals are used to transmit images and sound. Images are created by assembling pixels and are typically displayed on a screen using LCD technology. For more content like this and to support us, please subscribe to our channel and give it a thumbs up. We would appreciate your support.